Hi guys, welcome back. Now, did you know that uh, Netcat can be used as a port scanner? So you can actually uh, do a port scanning with your Netcat. Okay, so uh, I believe uh, you're quite uh, familiar with the use of Netcat, which is actually a, um, a Swiss Army knife that can do a lot of things uh, for your administration and even uh, creating the back door or something like that, okay? But uh, this time I'll be showing you on how to use Netcat as a port scanner in case you don't have the Nmap, okay? So let's say, uh, just go to my Kali and I've already created the, uh, the target. So I have Kali. Yeah. <clears throat> so now I will use the pseudo net discover to find the uh, target host, uh, specifically the IP address or IP addresses. <clears throat> but for this time, I only have one uh, single IP uh, as my target. Okay. My, my, my coughing. I'm, I'm not really feeling well <laughs> today. So anyway, um, let's see. Now, of course, you can actually yeah, use different tools yeah, to uh, find the IP uh, address or IP addresses, uh, your target IP addresses, okay? So hang on for a while. Now, while waiting for this, let me just minimize, open up new windows. And here, let's, uh, you know, check the nmap command, uh, sorry, the netcat, sorry, and see dash h. Now we will use the z option. This is zero IO mode used for scanning and to get the uh, information uh, shown uh, in our screen, we will use verbose, and you can use the dash VV uh, to be more verbose, okay? So let's just check our result, not yet. Okay, so hang on for a while. <clears throat> so this is the easiest way to find live host. Uh, this is actually a very simple tool called NetDiscover, which is normally used to scan for any, uh, you know, live host. Uh, the technique is called uh, network scanning, or even sometimes they call it as uh, ping sweep. Yeah, but this is actually using the. Uh, I'm not sure why is it not actually showing the result, but uh, anyway. Yeah, so if this one it has error, let's just try something else. Um, maybe uh, use the nbt stat dash r. Yeah, so let's check our IP. And my IP is actually this one. I can just copy this and type uh, nbt stat dash r and put the range which is 0 slash 24 uh, oh sorry it's supposed to be nbt scan so sorry uh, permission denied uh, this is what I don't like anyway yeah so I found um, easily I can find 128 which is our IP in fact and this is our target our target here is metaspritable, okay? So this is our target, right? So I'll just copy and go back to my screen. And now we will use the uh, uh, netcat. Oh, sorry, netcat dash Z. And of course you can put, this is actually, um, what do you call this, my uh, command. So this is, Verbose. This is Z for the port scanning. This is my IP uh, address. I mean the target IP address, and this is the port that I want to scan. You can always use the grab open if you want. Okay, just 
press enter and see what happened. Voila! Yeah. <clears throat> so we have this one. Yeah, of course, you can uh, scan uh, with uh, another command like, uh, as you can see here, let me get back to the whole point. Yeah, so the syntax is quite simple. Netcat dash Z, which is for port scanning. You can use the dash V. This is optional for to, to, to look at the uh, result verbosely. Yeah. You can put a host name or the port. You can put like uh, kamtia.org uh, space 1-1023, which means that you're, you want to scan uh, from port 1 to 1023. You can also use the um, other uh, technique like the server name, port number. Okay, so and you can also use like a dash ZV uh, instead of using dash Z dash V. Okay, so let's get back to this one. Yeah, so let's say I want to scan for a specific port. So what I'll do, I'll just put like, okay, I want to scan for port uh, 22. Okay, if you use the dash VV, you'll see what happened. Yeah, it's open, right? And let's try the same command, but using the dash VV, more verbose. Okay, and enter. <coughs> wow. <laughs> oh, maybe we can try to put like, okay, grab, open. See what we have. Mm. We do not have this. Okay. So the easiest is actually to use the previous command, which is with the single V. Yeah. <coughs> yep. Or you can also combine this with dash V. So dash Z V and the port. The range this is actually the range you're you're scanning from port 1 to 1023 okay and if you want to scan um what do you call this the uh, a bigger range of uh, ports then you can actually use this <coughs> so let's say i want to scan from port 1 to 65535 and let's see what happened. Yeah, so just wait for a while. I'll get back to this one. And you can also use the dash W1. And this is actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's time. Yeah. So we can combine this uh, command. So I'll open up another shell. So what if we use the NC dash and we remove this one. And we put this dash Z dash V. Uh, okay, I forgot. So let's just open up netcat oh sorry dash h and the w with the second the timeout for connects and final net reads so let's try to combine the command dash z dash v dash w or maybe like w one one second dash z dash v and then 168.236.129 and the port is let's say 1 to 1023 <clears throat> and if we go back to our previous we can see a lot of different open ports somehow some ports are not uh, identified 
or was or were not identified but we can see that uh, some ports are or were identified as this yeah so we got postgres yeah uh, mysql uh, shell hmm and microsoft ds and so on okay and this is actually almost the same so this is actually optional yeah because it will give you uh perhaps uh, you know a bit of time yeah <clears throat> so basically here uh you have learned about how to use the um netcat uh for uh port scanning yeah for the purpose of scanning the ports yeah uh, a very simple tool uh, that is by default uh, already installed in uh, some Linux uh, distro or distros okay some Linux flavors so uh, of course you can also do this uh, with your Windows you just need to copy the or install the uh, netcat uh, Windows version okay so uh, and did you know that netcat also can do a lot of uh, more things like uh, we can just type nc-h can uh, you can run the shell command yeah. you can a uh, uh, program or, or run the uh, or uh, uh, what do you call this run the shell command here with the e yeah we can also uh, send files yeah like for example you can use the dash l the listening mode or maybe um, connect to specific host yeah yeah, like you can put like uh, nc l p. This is actually for listening. To connect somewhere, you can just go to the or select uh, type netcat and the host name and the port or uh, ports. Okay, so let's say from the from this one we found something like okay, um, yeah, see this one shell. I haven't seen this port 514 so let's see can we connect to it so nc dash v then 1 and 2168.236.129 and port 514 <coughs> yeah 514 now the shell is open yeah and you can type something like uh, ls maybe oh but it's open yeah so we can connect to it or maybe we can try um let me see a uh, dash e slash s bin then bash something like that Hmm. So it's actually uh, open, but it's uh, the executable bash was not, uh, you know, uh, running correctly. So let's see. Hmm. Oh, you can use this bin shell. Sorry, it's supposed to be bin shell. So let's try this one. So shell command like uh, uh, dash c and then slash bin sh <coughs> hmm nothing much yes no nope. But it looks like uh, we can actually connect to the uh, target uh, target uh, port. Anyway, uh, you can try to. Uh, I would uh, recommend you to explore the use of the netcat because this netcat is awesome. Uh, it it is actually known as the uh, Swiss Army knife 
Yeah, you can use many different uh, features of and uh, the netcat to do a lot of different things. You know, so to send files, to receive files, to connect to the port, or you know, uh, even create a you know listening uh, 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 as a backdoor or something like that. Okay, so I mean listener. Okay, uh, so my topic is just focusing on the use of the uh, netcat. Yeah, so you can use the command like this. And so don't forget here, this is actually the uh, command, the option, and then the IP address of your target and the port, okay? As stated in my presentation, okay? Yeah, so here. So uh, again, the syntax is nc-z, the v-v is optional. Then you can put like the host name, the port range, yeah? Or maybe you can put like a host name here and then the, the SSH or just port number. Yeah, you can always use the W uh, to, the, to create a delay or something like that. So example here, you can uh, uh, use the nc-z-v or dash zv, then the name of the server or even the IP address of your um, uh, target. Okay, so you can use name or you can even use the IP. Okay, so don't worry about that. Now, if you use the name, don't forget that you will need to have a DNS to translate the name to the IP. But I would prefer to use uh, IP address. So uh, you can just use the same command and put this. So I'll just add extra things here. So this is your IP address. Your target. IP address okay all right so that's for today and I hope that this short video will uh, benefits provide you with uh, the benefits and uh, you can actually learn a lot by exploring the netcat commands all right so till next time bye bye